Hello everyone, it is Debbie with Yarn Chat and Coffee. I just thought I would come out with a new tutorial. Um, I was looking through the book and I think I'm going to go with this. Um, it's called a spider stitch. So it's very, very easy. Um, and it looks kind of pretty. It almost looks like a spider, I guess. Or a flower or something but um it's very easy and so I thought I would just come out with a little tutorial to kind of show you um, how to do this you know not a whole lot going on in life right now can't go a whole lot of places so here we are so the directions say that you need an odd number of stitches so, what I went ahead and done was, let's see if I can find something to hold this book open. Um, there we go. I did a chain of 31, you, and you need, it's, it's an odd number of chains plus two. So, um, so you make your chain as long as you want it, and then you're going to add two to it. So... The, uh, it's an odd number plus two. Now this uses single crochet, so it's very, very um, simple. It's probably a slow working stitch, but it's a pretty little stitch. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a whirl. So um, the first step says, row one, um, one single crochet, one chain, one single crochet in the third chain from the hook. So we're going to go one, two, three. This is the third chain from the hook. Remember we don't count the the chain on the hook. That's, so we're going to do a single crochet and then we're going to chain one and single crochet. Okay and that's all in the same stitch. Um, and then we're going to um, skip one chain and then we're going to single crochet, chain one, single crochet, sorry, chain one, single crochet in that next chain. So that's what we're going to do all the way across. Let me get a little more yarn out because I'm probably going to need it for the second row. So we're going to skip a chain, single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that same chain stitch. So that's how we do this all the way across. Single crochet, skip a chain, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Skip a chain, single crochet, oops, chain one, single crochet. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm hoping y'all can see this. I always say that. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, skip one, single crochet. I was going to just leave the first row in, but the second row is a little different, not much. Chain one and single crochet. Um, so I said, well, let me just start from the beginning. Um, skip one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Skip one, single crochet in the next chain one single crochet skip one chain single crochet in the next chain one and then single crochet in the next I hope this orange is not too dark for y'all I'm hoping y'all can see this well so skip one Single crochet. I probably should have done a shorter chain. And single crochet. Okay, skip one. 
single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Skip one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Skip one, chain one, I mean single crochet, I'm sorry. Chain one and single crochet. Um, we're almost to the end here, so skip one, single, chain, and single. Okay, so when you have two left, uh, when you have two chains left on the first row, um, you're going to skip one and then you're going to do one single crochet in that last um, chain and then you're going to turn your work and here's what it's starting to look like so it looks nice okay so you're going to turn your work and then you're going to let me get a little more yarn before I start and then you're going to um, chain two. Oops. Tighten that up a little. Chain two. So you chain two. And then the instructions say single crochet, ch uh, chain one, single crochet in every chain one space. So you're going to find your chain one space. It should be okay I gotta find it y'all I'm never good at finding this um, so we're going to single crochet chain one single crochet chain um, in the chain one space okay then you're going to find your next chain one space and you're going to single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that next chain one space. So that's what you're going to do on the next round. So single crochet chain one, single crochet. Then you're going to find your next chain one space. You're going to single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. <clears throat> You're going to single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. I'm going to try and finish this row. Let's see. Single crochet, chain one, single. In every sing in every chain one space across, you're going to single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. Did I chain one in between there? I think I forgot the chain one, did I? Oh no, I didn't. I'm sorry. And chain single. Okay. We're almost done with this row. And then we're going to take a look at it. Oops, I'm trying to double. Single. I bet you could do this with a, a double too. I mean, for people who don't like those single crochets. But I just thought I would pick something simple. You know, we got all these people trying to learn how to crochet nowadays. And we're stuck at home. So we might as well learn some new stitches. Single crochet. Chain one single crochet single crochet 
chain one, single crochet, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, okay, single crochet, whoops, chain one, single crochet. Okay, then you're going to single crochet in this chain space on the end. So single crochet, and then you're going to turn, and the rest is to repeat that row for the rest of your stitches. I think mine's a little tight here because it's curling but it'll probably flatten out as time goes on so this is what it looks like I'm trying to make sure y'all can see it it's it's a pretty little stitch um, sorry um, so I'm hoping y'all can see this nice little stitch so we're going to um, in the video now but that would be that row three, that uh, step three, the row two, would be your repeating row for the rest of the stitch. So, I hope this is something y'all have not heard of and that y'all um, can practice while we're home, homebound. And, um, yeah, keep on uh, stitching. Have a great one. Bye. God bless.